Now here is a welcome face. Soma. How fair is Granderbridge? We thrive, just as we did our first year. And I have you to thank for that. The risk I took was far less than you are taking now. I thank you for heeding my call. An oath is an oath, Eivor. Silver-gilded and iron-clad. Uber Ragnarsson, it puts me at ease to see you here. Welcome. Eivor Wolfkiss tempts me with a swipe at Wessex. Who am I to resist? <laughs> here we might finish the work your father began a decade back. Are you ready? More than ready. I am hungry. What I would give to be there when he appears in Odin's Hall. Old one I will have his hands full tonight. But I cannot let my brother lie forgotten in unknown soil. I must take him home. Bury him with what finery I can muster. I understand. May Freya watch your way, Broder. Until we meet again. Aye. Until then. Go, Zulin. city and into the wild. It's too empty out here. No sound but the birds and the wind in the grass. Never fear, Erke. We'll soon be home. Back to the racket and stink of the Thames yard. Erke, Stowe, ready to attack? I have reservations. Sparrowheart has reservations. Though Mercia wars often with Wessex, these people are Christians. Perhaps I can talk to them, to avert more bloodshed. More lives than these are at stake, though. You would warn them of our intention. I understand. I promise my aid and I will keep my word. Enough ringing of souls. Time to act. Onward! Take the Saxons' camp! Show me. The guards here are vigilant.
The camp is ours! That wasn't so hard, was it, Stowe? Even one man's death is too many. Now I must see about destroying full case supplies. Soon in, guide me. Go! All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit.
do you see? Soma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. 
Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers! Take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor! When they see us, they will charge. We must defend the men! Survey the area, Sudan. Here they come! Stand fast, Eivor! Protect the archers! They will not get past me! I will cut you down like wheat! Save your energy! Enough! Crawlade dances with hearth tongues. Soon it will be ashes. Archers! Lower your bows and return to camp! What do you see? The forges have been destroyed. No more weapons will be made here. Well fought, Eivor.
Bridge was. A forest of Saxon swords awaits within those walls of stone. Salt was Batham. He will be nearby. What have you discovered? Bridgeworth swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. Show me. One down, one to go. The other should be somewhere in the keep. On my way.
I should return to our camp. So violence begets violence. An eye for an eye, as the good book says. But soon we will all be blind. Not quite. Whoever makes the last strike should still have one eye left. In the street of the blind, the one-eyed man is called the guiding light. Does that holy tome of yours have a quote for everything? Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I will ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. So, my Jalskona, you seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Uba, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lofbrook. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deolav. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, dear love. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you're welcome here, friend. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As a keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. 
Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. I will not be long. Return when you are ready. the matter here? We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come. Claim your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us. You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. So many battles and so few scores, Basim. What's your secret? I don't get it. Aha! The simplest strategies are the best. Clear the way! Let's take down that palisade! Fire! 
Watch out for the oil! Courage, men! Let the ravens gorge on Saxon meat! Shields up!
No match for no steel! Sigurd must be close! Up these stairs! Sigurd was here once, but no longer. Where has Fulke taken him? Is this Sigurd's blood? Sigurd! Every instant of your torment full. The church! Fouke must have taken him there! Come on, Basim!
This door will need the strength of two! Fulke! I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Brother! Brother! I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. You cower from me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Where are your fine words now, Paladin? your eyes to the light. Ah. I will bury you in the dark. Are you afraid, Fouke? My cause is greater than you can comprehend. You are more like Sigurd than you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one. An archer. Nephilim. Isu. Call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl. And you are mine, sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Fulke! Damn you to hell! Fulke! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. You are more than 
to run within our arena. <laughs> Vomit. Shit, it's soil. Sigurd is so much more. I gave him that understanding. That gift. You gave him pain! Yes! To awaken him! All that power... Necessary to free him. <sighs> Behold his terrible beauty. <sighs> the beauty of the world. Hers was the great work. The highest achievement of humankind. Now you, Eivor, you must carry it forward. <sighs> so good. I can walk. Let me. Let me walk. Sigurd. Eivor. I will... I will fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls! Turn the tide. Keep your wits about you, so Don't get careless now. Never. One last effort. Drive them back. By four, we're not done yet. Do not fall to now, then. Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters.
Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uber. Until we meet again. So, my Yalskona, it seems we have won. A great victory. Not even these walls could stand against us. This land will be ours in time. What now for you? Uba and I will go west, driving the Saxons before us. Alfred will not hold a crown much longer. I hope one day to see you both there. I would like that. There is uh, one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Uba. How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You're brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that. <laughs>